Welcome to That's Life TV. This is our first episode and today I've got Darlene, our fabulous food editor, and myself, Linda, the editor, and we're going to be making, or Darlene's going to be making, banoffee pie. Now, if you've never made banoffee pie before, you are missing out on something. And if you've never tried it, believe me, it is the easiest thing you're ever going to make. And Darlene's going to show you how. Your guests will go nuts. Darlene, let's get going. What do you need? Okay, well you don't need that much, which is what makes it so simple. So we need some biscuits, some butter, some caramel top and fill, bananas and cream. So we're going to show you how. What's the first step? Okay, first what we're going to do is break up our biscuits into the food processor and we're going to crush those up to make our biscuit base. Once that's done, we're going to melt our butter in the microwave. Okay. All melted, ready to go. Great. We're going to add it into our biscuits. And then once we've added it all, just give it a few seconds pulsing. Okay, so now we've got a, um, that's one of those pans that has a removable bottom. What do you call it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a loose bottom flan tin. Loose bottom flan tin, that's it. Okay, so that's how it's being pushed in and yep. we'll just we're keep just going, going on that. To do that with a spoon. And basically it's a good idea if you concentrate on doing the sides of the tart first because it's always where you use the most of your biscuit crumb and it's always easy if you haven't got a lot left to get that nice thin coating on the bottom. Alright, so we've got the flan done. So yep. next step is the tin. So this is Nestle Top and Fill. Um, you can use condensed milk, which is what I've done, and just boiled it. Yep, that's right. That's what we used to do before Nestle took the hard work out of it for us and, and put it in a can. It's a good idea just to pop it into a bowl and give it a little bit of a mix around, just so it's nice and smooth, because otherwise it looks a little bit chunky when you try and put it into the base. So just popping this into the, into the flan. Pop it in the fridge, because yes. then it's basically ready. It's going to take a, a second to top it. And how long do I need to leave it in the fridge? You can really leave it at least 30 minutes. So, once you take it out of the fridge, we add the topping. That's right. This is the banoffee, the ban part of the banoffee pie, isn't it, darling? Yep, the banana. Got the bananas. Basically, we're using two, in two to three bananas, and then just slicing them up, and then we just pop them over the top of the... Now, Darlene, the banana's on there, and yep. it doesn't really matter what the banana looks like, you don't have to do it in a pretty pattern or anything, because it's all going to get covered up by the cream. cream. We've got today is a Chantilly cream on top, so it's just got a little bit of sweetness, so that it's not a real stark flavour difference between a cream that's just coating the inside of your mouth, and the sweet bottom of the caramel, and a little bit of vanilla for flavour. What we want to see is, when we lift the beaters out, seeing that nice heat forming and holding it shape. All right, well then what we need to do is just finish it off with some chocolate. There you go. Now these, these are great, these. I only discovered them quite recently, microplanes. Yeah, they're Fantastic, a great, a great they? little kitchen helper and there's a few different ones that you can buy. I like this one, it's one I use all the time. And basically, just hold it over the top and grate your chocolate straight onto it. Just stays that whole step of, you know, dirtying more utensils than the bench top. How good does that look? 